Hi, everybody. For today's 10-minute technology episode, we're going to be looking at BoardMaker Online and how you can use BoardMaker Online templates to create activities quickly and easily for use on um, any device. When you log into your BoardMaker Online account, you want to go to your dashboard. When you get to your dashboard, you're going to go to My BoardMaker. After clicking My Board Maker, you'll be brought to the screen that shows all of your activities um, and shows a number of different curriculum solutions. It's kind of the, the start or the hub of your Board Maker Online activities. While you're here, you want to click Create Activity, and that's going to open a window that looks like this. You could create a blank activity, or you could create activities with any of the templates or activity types that are down the side. And there are hundreds, hundreds of pre-made activity interactive templates or print templates that are all available for you to just drag and drop things into. And we're going to look at five of those today, just to give you an example of what's there and how to do them. Now open this tab up here. First one I wanna look at is one under classroom routines, and it's called attendance bins. You can either show a sample or select it to edit. Let's show a sample first, and that's going to open another window, which will show you the activity, how it looks to give you ideas of how to create yours before you go into select it to edit it. Now that this is opened, you'll notice how students would then interact with the activity. Sally is here. Sally is here. George is not here. George is not here. Sue is not here. Sue is not here. John is here. John is here. So you could imagine this being on your interactive flat panel or somewhere projected in the classroom. Students could then come in and sign in um, to start their day. I want to close this out for a second and I just want to go to the select option here. Select is going to bring me into the same um, activity without the content. So it'll be the template of the activity to create on. And the nice thing about anything you create on BoardMaker Online is that the templates have letters in red that explain to you exactly what you need to do to create the activity. So it explains it step by step as you're doing it. All right, so now that this opened up, if you read right here, it says you can change the title and symbol of the title boxes below. I kind of like here and not here, but you notice when I click it, it brings me to my editing windows over here so I can change that. But let's leave that for now. Here it says students will drag the buttons below into the appropriate group. Down here it says place symbols and text for each student below. Blank buttons will be deleted. So now you have this template and all you need to do is fill the boxes with the students' images, which you can take from your computer, um, or images that you have on BoardMaker Online. So just to show you quick, I'm going to click Enter in that box. I'm just going to type boy. Next one, I'm going to type girl. And as the images populate, you just select it again, goes down here. So we're filling these boxes as per the directions. You can add labels to these if you want to. So, um, you know, depending on the student's name. But like I said, also, you can add actual uh, pictures also from of the students. And then when you go, you would save the activity, but when you play it, I just want to show it to you. It's going to look just like the other one did. Mark is here. And interact just like the other one did as well. So that's the attendance template that's under the category of classroom uh, routines. Next one we have to look at is going to be under matching. Again, same principle, we are just choosing a pre-made template. OK, 
Okay, let's for this one do matching word to picture. Again, let's look at the sample first. And you'll see on the sample, we have a bunch of pictures and we have a bunch of words. Now let's see what happened. You can drag and drop the pictures. That's right. This is the picture that goes with the word car. That's right. Onto the pictures. This is the picture that goes with the word boat. No, those... No. And it appears that it does um, give you the correct answer. The word fuel goes with this picture. Or it does autocorrect for you. Now if you leave here, I'm going to select this one. And it's going to open up and it's going to also again give me the directions like the other one did in red so it tells me how to build it. All right, so let's read. It says place a symbol in the top button of each group and type the corresponding word in the button below it. Empty buttons will be hidden. Buttons will be placed down here at the start of the activity. So all it is asking me to do is add the content right now. So let's do that. We'll just do two of them for purposes of this. Word. So we just did two, but right, we did we set it up so it's correct. Now I just want to see what that looks like when we play it, just like it did before. That's right. This is the picture that goes with the word banana. That's right. This it, is the picture that goes with the word apple. And it gives you the feedback. So we just made a quick matching word to picture activity in less than a couple minutes by just using the board maker pictures and then corresponding words and it sets it up into an interactivity for you. The next one we want to look at is going to be sorting. We do a lot of different sorting and it gives you many many ways to pick. If you want to do two groups of ten, total items, three groups of nine, it just gives you many options. Um, for this one we're going to just look at the sample of the two groups of ten Oh, actually, this is appropriate for around this time of year for Earth Day. It's doing a recycled or throwaway activity. It says sort these items into recycled and thrown away. That's right. An old pillow is thrown away. The audio feedback. Let's go back and leave here and let's see how we can create one of our own. Again, it's going to load the template itself with the directions in red, just like the other two activities did. says here place group titles and symbols in the title boxes below so you can name these whatever your categories and you could also change the picture if you wanted to. Here's our places where we're going to put the symbols. It says place symbols or text in group one into the buttons above. Blank text will be hidden. Same thing over here. It says don't place anything here. This is where it's going to put the buttons for us and then we can add, modify these instructions. So you'll notice it tells you exactly what to do every time you choose one of these templates. It tells you what you can modify, tells you what you can't modify, tells you what's going to happen when you play the activity. Uh, for purposes of this, let's just change that to fruit. Let's change that to vegetables. I'm not gonna change these pictures, although I could. I just don't wanna take the time right now to do it. We're making the correct answers, remember, so let's Add a couple of the fruits to here. We'll do the same over on vegetables.
we might want to change these directions, but I think for purposes of this, sort these items into the correct groups. We'll keep that, although we could just type it. We would save it, but let's just play it and see what it looks like. Creates a beautiful sorting activity in less than a minute by just using the pictures. And it's going to provide the feedback. That's right. Belongs in fruit. Let's check it out if I get it wrong. That doesn't belong there. And it gives me another chance. That doesn't belong there. That's right. Belongs in fruit. So in less than a minute, we created a sorting activity using that template. So that so far, we looked at the attendance one. We looked at the matching word to picture. And we looked at sorting. Again, these are all under the interactive templates for create activity. The next one we're going to look at is the labeling. I like the labeling a lot, and you can do a lot with it. Let's X out of this. Let's go to my tab up here. You can choose to label five items or ten items. Again, if you leave any blank, it just won't be there. Um, I'm going to go to the sample for five items to see what it looks like. All right, it appears to be a background of fruit, and it tells me to label the correct fruit. Nice little activity. That's the right. Feedback. The label, apple, goes there. No, that label does not go there. It's a nice little quick sorting activity with a customized background that then allows you to um, set up the correct answers. Let's go to create one and see what that looks like. Says, place your image in this box. To place more than one image in the box, first select the box and change its button type to group, then add your image. So your image goes here, blank one, blank two, blank three, blank four, blank five. You're going to be dragging the blanks to the correct location on the image. That's So that's um, where you're going to end up doing the sorting. And then you're going to type your labels into the boxes below. Um, Let's put a custom image in here. I know you can um, upload anything. So if you have a picture of your classroom you want to upload and label parts of the classroom, you could do that. Um, if you have a picture of an office and you're learning staff's names, you could have the people in the office and label them. For now, let's just put a flower in there. Uh, let's select that one. So that's now my background image. Then I drag these to where I want them on the page. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can click out of there. There we go. So I'll leave that there. That'll be for the petals. That'll be for the stem or the, the leaves. And that'll be for the stem. Let's see, label one is going to be the petals. Label two is going to be the leaves. Label three is going to be the stem. So I put the picture on. I dragged the blanks to where I want them and made sure that my correct answers were down here. And then I'm going to play it just to see what it looks like. Again, in a matter of one minute, I created a nice quick activity. I could take more time. I did do a couple stumbles when I did this one. Take more time, make it cleaner and prettier looking. But so let's see. Petals. That's right. The label. That's right. The that's right. Can interact with that. The label. You reached the end of this activity. Pretty cool. Again, it really takes less than a minute to make quick interactive activities. So that was labeling. We're going to look at one more before the end of this. Um, and again, this is just a way to, going back to this first tab, um, use the interactive templates when we create activities or the activities over here. Um, there's hundreds of them. We're just looking at five right now just to give you an idea of how they work. Uh, the last one I want to go to math. Um, Math has a really nice um, built-in interactive money type things. Um, let's do counting coins. Let's do a fixed amount. I'm going to show myself a sample of that one. Again, there's hundreds of different things in here you could find for sorting, counting, money, and all those type of things. Uh, 
All right, so this page opens up right here. It says drag the coins into the bin to count how much you have. Let's do that. 11, 36 cents. And you'll notice that it automatically adds the coins up for the student. You reached the end of this activity. Let's see what it looks like to create our own. You may not need too much creation if it's already set up, but let's take a look. This is the first time I've actually opened this one, so we'll do it together. To create additional copies of this page, copy and paste the page from the project panel below. We're not going to do that, but again, this is a good reminder if you ever wanted to add pages, you could do it right over here, add pages to your activity. Okay. Let's go back to this first page. Copy and paste the coins to set the starting amount. Delete any unwanted coins. So basically it looks appears to um, that I can add as much money on this side as I want. So let's add a few extra coins. All I'm doing is copying and pasting. And then when you go to play this activity and the student drags the money in, it's going to add up all the money that student drags automatically. 82 cents. It's kind of a neat activity, um, a way to count money. But if you go back and there's a ton and ton of other different, um, let me go back there for a second, templates around money and counting money, um, using fixed amounts, um, making them out. Um, there's just a lot of different things in here. So. Again, it's kind of a neat um, place to look for activities to reinforce your uh, math or money concepts that you're working on. So we looked at the attendance, we looked at matching word to picture, we looked at sorting, we looked at picture labeling, looked at math, counting bills and coins. Again, these are just a few of the hundreds of templates that are in here that are ready to use. All you need to do is click on it, look at the sample, select it, read it and create it and use it. Don't forget to save it as well. This was a brief look at the interactive and performance templates within BoardMaker Online. I hope you enjoyed it and I thank you for watching.